Hello Kindred Longevity Lifestyle Designers, this is Governor Your Secrets of Longevity.com. Now it's probably been over a year, perhaps even longer, since I've done a recipe video. Finally going to get to do one. I just never got around to trying to figure out the right setup for this oddly shaped kitchen. Uh, you probably don't see much of what's happening. You can kind of see from here up and that's just the way the space works. I'll try and work on it for a future one to get a larger, wider shot perhaps. But this is a simpler recipe, so I'll be assembling it into this uh, Vitamix blender, the medium one, not the larger one, just for the fact that it's a smaller drink. And what I'm putting together is a take on the Bulletproof coffee, which I've actually done one in the past, uh, but this is one I've been drinking on and off, not daily. I drink maybe coffee on average twice a day. I make two separate, fairly weak, but larger volume amounts of coffee. And I've drank espresso quite regularly for a number of years, but um, I find myself wanting a larger quantity of weaker coffee just because I like the more spaced out effects of the caffeine as opposed to uh, that hit all at once, which for me caused me to suddenly break out into a sweat when I have like a single or double espresso shot. Uh, that same amount of caffeine in a cup of coffee made from the same amount of coffee grounds. You drink it slower so it's released slower into your system and if you mix a lot of other things in with it that also slows down the release of the caffeine and we're going to be doing the uh, coconut oil combined with ghee which is standard in bulletproof coffee although they use MCT oil instead of coconut oil and uh, grass-fed butter so ghee is a little different uh, it's grass-fed but it's not the raw butter which would be Perhaps more optimal, but I don't have any of that on hand. Not easily accessible in Canada, but if you have that near you, you can always substitute that. Um, and I've got some water just coming up to the boil here. And to start off, we're just going to do the one scoop of coffee. I've just got a dark roast blend. Uh, it's Ethiopian Dark Sadamo. I don't know if that's a standard name of a coffee or perhaps that's just a unique name for a coffee blend that I can only get in my area. I'm not that well versed in the different types of coffee that I could make specific recommendations around optimal flavors and things but I like the flavor of this one and it's certified organic fair trade. Those are just the basic things you want to make sure you're getting with coffee because non-organic coffee is very uh, saturated with pesticides. Much higher risk of mold issues with the drying process and mass production of the level of which you see in sort of conventional coffee brands. So this water's just come up to a boil and I like to let it stand for like 30 seconds or more. Uh, the ideal temperature to pour hot water over coffee is 30 seconds to a minute after it's boiled. Um, if you're talking about an open, open pan like this, if you have a kettle with a lid you might want to let it sit for two minutes after it's banged and done its boil. And that's just to do with the chemistry of coffee. Um, you don't need uh, that boiling temperature a little bit below that and you're going to get less of the tans and things I believe that's the, the reason behind that. Similar to like green tea whereas uh, with green tea it's even longer you want to leave it standing before pouring it over uh, the tea leaves. So this is just drip coffee. Um, I do a little bit extra water and I put more through so it's even yeah it's definitely not strong coffee. Uh, sometimes if I feel like stronger coffee I just don't do more than one uh, pass through of water and so that's totally up to you by preference of how you want to do this. And that's the rest of the water and we're going to come back when this is done. First things first is the coconut oil ghee blend and by the way I'm making a vanilla latte type of a drink uh, so standard bulletproof coffee it's just the oils that uh, is talked about with that drink in the coffee blended up. I find I don't really ever do that on its own like that. I usually mix other things in with it just because on its own it's a little bit of a funny consistency and flavor for me personally. That's my, my personal taste. And one other thing to say is that the reason one would want to make bulletproof coffee is because it has all those fats in it. It's great and very supportive for anyone on a ketogenic or higher fat type of diet. You're just getting an extra boost of those fats which convert very easily into ketones, especially the MCT oil those medium chain triglycerides flip in the liver to uh, ketones very rapidly. And I find actually even if I'm tired or a little bit run down feeling, just eating a bit of this straight perks me right up, unlike eating a whole meal where I might feel a little more sluggish afterwards. 
So we're just doing a large rounded spoonful. I guess that's a little more than a tablespoon. Adding that to this. And by the way, if I had pure ghee, I would also use that. It doesn't necessarily have to have the coconut oil in there. This is just pre-blended, which is very handy. Um, I have a link below if you want to source some ghee. You can get it from Sir Thrival, along with a couple other products I'm going to be mentioning here. And that's an affiliate link. It helps me in continuing to put out these videos. If you put, purchase through any of these links, uh, I get a commission on those. But it doesn't cost you anything extra. Just by going to that link, it uh, recognizes that I'm the one that sent you to the site. So we're also going to have some whipping cream. Um, if you have, again, raw organic cream, go for that. This is a company that's organic. Uh, not raw, obviously it's Canada, uh, but it is grass fed. And they're a company that's ready for whenever that mythical time might come that Canada decriminalizes raw milk. All their cows are ready to go in terms of they already consume the majority of their uh, sustenance from grass and hay in the winter. So they're going to be able to flip over to raw grass fed uh, in terms of their label if that ever comes to pass. So if you live in Canada or Ontario specifically, that's uh, Harmony Organic if you're looking for sort of the most optimal store-bought version of any dairy products. We're going to do one squirt of iodine. I just like to try and get iodine in whenever possible. That's just one dropper full. Uh, the dose is said to be much lower, but I find a whole dropper full is a good amount. Um, I've spoken about the benefits of iodine, coffee, and a lot of these things in the past. So I'm going to link to a couple videos below if you want to learn more. I'm not going to get too in-depth on the benefits of each thing. But you want to be careful with iodine when adding it to drinks. Too much can start to make the drink taste like cl a chlorine pool, like it tastes like chlorine. And interestingly, iodine actually helps your body get rid of chlorine because it's a halogen. It's in that same uh, periodic table of elements column. Uh, so it is a way of pushing out those other elements that are within that column that you might have in your body. Because we have a biological role for iodine, but we don't for these other things to such an extent. Uh, next, we're going to put in some colostrum, and this is a dairy product, but it's a uh, first milk, very high in immune boosting quality, so there's a couple immune factors in some of these things that we're adding, the iodine in particular, uh, but also the colostrum, and then also the next thing we're going to add, we're just going to add one heaping tablespoon, a little bit more. It's very fluffy, very creamy, lots of growth factors in there as well. And that, this is also from Sir Thrival, and you can find a link for it below. And the other immune boosting item we're going to be adding is this Maitake Instant Tea. Um, so I've quite enjoyed mixing a tea with the coffee. Sometimes I'll brew a tea uh, before I pour the water through the coffee, such as like chai tea. But then today I'm doing just this instant tea, which I can add after the fact it's just dehydrated extract of maitake and a couple other things. There's some stevia in here, as well as tulsi, ginger, rosehip, and uh, of course the maitake, which is the main thing. And maitake, like I said, is immune boosting, it's anti-carcinogenic. Uh, so this time of year is great for a bit of an immune boost, I find, because that change of seasons always seems to be the place where a lot of people are susceptible to illness. I've been hearing from friends that they've been randomly coming down with colds, even though the cold weather is starting to end. It's that sudden shift or very rapid shift in temperature in just the general season. But a lot of people just tend not to be uh, overly prepared for in terms of their, the health of the body. So a little bit of a boost through like a week or so of uh, certain product, whether it's colostrum or maitake or other medicinal mushrooms, is a way to uh, fortify your body against that time drain that comes with being sick, especially in the spring. Um, we're going to put a couple drops of French vanilla stevia. So we're just going to put uh, maybe five drops because I know the stevia in here is potent but there's also stevia in this other item we're just about to add. The last ingredient is just some whey protein. I'm going to do half a scoop. I'm not wanting to make this like a big bulky drink that uh, feels like a whole meal but it's going to have some caloric value and it's going to sort of stave off my hunger so I can eat my next meal a little later. And you know this very easily absorbable protein. Uh, this is a grass-fed company and it is actually French vanilla flavored as well. So that's just half a scoop. So that's everything we're going to add. I'm going to zip this up and then let you know what I think of the finished blend.
So you'll notice here I've got the shelf. This one fits perfectly in there, whereas the larger one I haven't used since I've moved in here just because it's just a little inconvenient. But yes, this, uh, even though we only had two cups of liquid, a little over two cups of liquid to start off with, it's now fluffed up to over four cups uh, just from everything in there. The oil has given it quite a big head, so I think there's probably more than a cup of the head itself. Actually, I didn't even get to try it there. It was all the bubbles. Still piping hot. Delicious flavor. It tastes obviously like French vanilla because you have the combination of the stevia with the uh, whey protein. And it doesn't have that sickeningly sweet effect that you'd have if you put loads of uh, sort of simple sugar-based sweetener, which you can, of course, do if you're consuming those. Maple syrup, honey, uh, raw granulated sugar, raw coconut sugar, all those things are fine if uh, they work for you. I'm on a low-carb regimen, so this is what I've been doing for a little treat. And I usually do it for my second coffee of the day, which happens a little later in the day, sometimes even after dinner, uh, which gives me the extra drive to be productive late into the evening. Mm. I really recommend trying to make this French vanilla immune boosting latte. And also check out the links below for ghee, colostrum, or even the maitake instant tea. There's some other mushroom teas as well. There's other products that serve travel offers. And I don't have specific links for any of these other things. You can find them out in the world, I'm sure, at your local health food store. Uh, just look for high quality is what we want to try and strive for. So let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Like, favorite, and share the video if you feel so inclined. And with that, I'll talk to you next time. Take care and embrace life without limits.